Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Jones. So today we're going to have a quick revisit of the bugs. So, which bugs is best for you? So MGX Bug Series is a proven winner. They make very nice drones that fly really well, that have decent flight time and have some have cameras, some don't. So let's just have a look at the range. So this is the Bug 3. So the Bug 3 is the proven winner. This is the one that's been out quite a while now. I have a cheap 4K camera stuck on the bottom of this, but you don't need to have a camera, you can take the camera off, the legs off, and just fly it as a drone. The reason I love the Bug 3 is, not only is it a fantastic drone, but this binds to the jumper transmitter. So I fly this with a jumper transmitter, which gives me, in my opinion, better control and obviously better range. And it makes it a little bit, a little bit more uh, agile because of the fact that I can set the rates at 20 I want. Fantastic drone, you shop around, you can pick one of these up. Uh, JD Quad reviewed one recently and I think he paid 50 quid for it from Amazon but it was a Drocon Blue. Absolutely amazing drone, check out his video on that. This is a fantastic drone, really is. Absolutely worth the money. But this is this is a drone for someone that wants to get into flying, I won't say the word properly but a bit more advanced. This has no altitude hold so throttle management is all down to yourself. So maybe not the first drone to start with, maybe you should start with a little indoor model and then move on to this, but a fantastic drone nonetheless. So this is the Bug 6. So the Bug 6 is obviously a much smaller drone, much more in the racing type of drone. Now this one has different motors, you've probably noticed if you've spotted this, so I've upgraded the motor on this because the motors were rubbish that came with it. They had them plastic Bellazzi motors, didn't last two minutes, so these have been upgraded. It has a 5.8 gigahertz FB, FPV camera in it, and I got this, I can't remember how much it was, but it was cheap. So this is what you'd maybe want to go up to next. Uh, I recommend the Bugs 8 Pro, I think it is now, which is just the newer version of this, but with proper motors. You get, and if you want to move to FPV, this is the thing. So this is the, FP, this is the FPV version. Obviously comes with its own transmit. Again, I can fly do this on the Bugs. So this could be a great introduction to FPV because it's quite a stable flight. It's not ridiculously fast at all. So this could be what you want to move into for FPV. But again, this isn't a camera drone. This is something to the next step up, if you like. So these three, I don't have the SE, but I'm going to compare it to the 2W because to me there's not that much difference. So these three all are camera drones. I've reviewed all three of these. They're all on my channel and... I can't say I don't like any of them because I do. So, this is the Bugs 3 Pro. So this is my least favourite out of these three. So this is the newest one actually. This came out last of any of these. So, as you can see, they went for something a little bit different on the shape. More like a Bug 3 standard look, but jazzed it up a little bit, I suppose. It's quite plastic here, but it flies really, really nicely. Really nice flyer. The camera quality is average at best. We could have actually spent a bit more money on a camera. I've mentioned this before in loads of videos I've done about MGX, but I believe they, are, they have got one coming out that has got a gimbal on, and I think they could be world beaters if they do that, because the drones fly so well. I have, all of these drones fly really well. You won't see probably a bad review on YouTube for the way any of these fly. You might see reviews on the cameras not being great, but not how they fly. So this is the Bug 3 Pro. This is the Bugs 2W. So I really do like the Bugs 2W. It's it very, 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 very easy to fly. You'll see by review. I think the video footage looks great out of it. It's not got a gimbal, obviously, and it is fixed. There's no stabilisation going on in there. But the, one of the biggest points about this thing is the way it flies. This thing flies amazingly well. It's, it's accurate, it's precise. Unlike a lot of GPS drones, when you turn this thing and you come into your quickly, it doesn't try and drop, it doesn't lose altitude, it just flies nice. Really nice GPS. Beautiful locked in drone and a really nice looking drone. I really like the look of this. And I do fancy the SE, but I won't probably get it because it's too similar to this. So, a fantastic drone. And if you're looking to get into a camera drone and you want one of your first, you want it as your first camera drone, you probably couldn't do much better than this. But this is the clincher. So this one is my favourite Bugs now. This is the Bugs 5W. I absolutely love this thing. No matter how many times I fly this, 
I can't fault it. Nothing goes wrong. It just flies perfectly well every time. The camera quality doesn't look that bad. It's not fantastic, but it, it, at least it's got a tiltable camera on here with an isolation mount. You don't really get any yellow. You get the choppiness of the drone doing this. This thing is blew me away the first time I flew it, and every time I've flown it since, it still does. You can pick this up for around £109 on eBay. I've seen it for less. There's now variations of this. I think it's a JGRC X5, and I think someone else makes it. Helifar make their version of it. I don't know which, what's happening with copying what, but you can't beat this. This thing's amazing. I think it looks fantastic. It's got the bug's name on the front, which is a winner for me. The controller's good that comes with it. I like the controller that comes with it. This is my controller. Now, the only difference I have done on my controller is I have attached a what is it? this is a dash mount kit for about six quid and it's onto the ball at the top and it means I can put a tablet in it so I fly this with an 8 inch tablet now because the app is decent you get great range the app's good the follow me mode and all the rest of it on this drone no I don't think they are good on any of these drones I and mean, who uses follow me anyway so but apart from that faultless fantastic drone fantastic value for money so you can't go wrong buying an MGX Bugs. If you're looking to get into the drone, if you wanted to get into it and you've been flying at home, you've been flying little quads around your house and you want to go out and fly something outside, you need a Bugs 3. The Bugs 3 is the drone for that. It's a fantastic drone to get you into learning how to get throttle management. You're better off starting with, a, with something like this rather than something with altitude hold. Altitude hold isn't going to teach you throttle management and isn't as much fun to fly because the, taking care of the altitude for you. From my point of view as a viewer, altitude hold drones are great because I get a new drone, I've not flown it before, I know it's going to fly something like it's got altitude hold. But throttle management is the key. So something like this is a fantastic drone to start with. And then work your way up. And from a camera drone point of view, we can't beat the Bugs 5W. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. You've been great. And thanks all, so much for all your support.